During the disco era, identifying a band surpassing the Bee Gees in prominence was a formidable task. Recognized by monikers like the Disco Kings, First Family of Harmony in the UK, and the Kings of Dance Music, the Bee Gees attained extraordinary success in the 1970s, securing numerous coveted accolades. Nevertheless, a dark twist of fate unfolded when certain members of the group unexpectedly departed, resulting in the Bee Gees' tragic descent and fading into obscurity for their devoted fans. For those unfamiliar with the departed members of the Bee Gees, continue watching until the conclusion of this video. Robin Gibb Robin Hugh Gibb was a highly influential British singer and songwriter. He rose to prominence as an integral member of the Bee Gees, alongside his elder brother Barry and fraternal twin brother Maurice. In addition to his contributions to the Bee Gees' unparalleled success, Robin Gibb also forged a successful solo career, showcasing his individual musical prowess. Robin Gibb's roots trace back to the Isle of Man, where he was born to English parents. Hugh and Barbara Gibb. The family's early years saw a move to Manchester for a brief period, during which Robin's youngest brother Andy Gibb was born. The Gibb family eventually settled in Redcliffe, just north of Brisbane, Australia. It was in this vibrant and diverse setting that the musical journey of the Gibb siblings commenced. The trio of Barry, Maurice, and Robin began their musical journey together forming a family trio that would later become known as the Bee Gees. Their musical talents quickly garnered attention, and as they found their initial success, the family returned to England, where they would go on to achieve worldwide fame. Robin Gibbs' distinctive voice and songwriting contributions played a crucial role in shaping the Bee Gees' signature sound. The trio's harmonies and songwriting prowess contributed to their global success, making them one of the most celebrated and enduring musical acts in the history of popular music. In recognition of their immense contributions to the music industry, the Bee Gees, including Robin Gibb, were appointed as Commanders of the Order of the British Empire, CBE, in 2002, for their outstanding contribution to music. The formal investiture ceremony took place at Buckingham Palace in 2004, marking a significant moment in the Bee Gees' illustrious career and acknowledging their impact on the cultural landscape. With record sales exceeding an estimated 200 million, the Bee Gees, featuring the exceptional talents of Robin Gibb alongside his brothers Barry and Maurice, secured their place as one of the most successful pop groups in the history of music. This remarkable achievement solidified the Bee Gees' legacy as global music icons. Renowned music historian Paul Gambaccini recognized Robin Gibb as one of the major figures in the history of British music. Gambaccini further praised Gibb as one of the best white soul voices ever, highlighting the distinctive and soulful quality of his voice, characterized by a vibrato-laden delivery. This accolade speaks to Gibbs' unparalleled vocal prowess and his significant contribution to the soul genre within the context of popular music. In addition to his musical achievements, Robin Gibb served as the president of the UK-based Heritage Foundation from 2008 to 2011. The foundation, dedicated to honoring figures in British culture, reflected Gibbs' commitment to recognizing and preserving the rich cultural heritage of the United Kingdom. Robin Gibbs' musical journey spanned an impressive six decades, showcasing his enduring passion for creating and performing music. His final onstage performance took place in February 2012 at the London Palladium, where he supported injured British servicemen during a charity concert. This poignant event demonstrated Gibbs' dedication to charitable causes and his desire to use his musical talents for the betterment of others. Tragically, Robin Gibbs' life was cut short in May 2012 when he passed away at the age of 62. The cause of his death was attributed to liver and kidney failure brought on by colorectal cancer. This marked the end of an era for the Bee Gees and the music industry as a whole as the world mourned the loss of a truly influential and iconic artist. Beyond his vocal contributions, 
Robin Gibb showcased his proficiency as an instrumentalist. He played a variety of keyboards, including piano, organ, and mellotron, notably on the Bee Gees album Odessa, released in 1969. Additionally, he displayed his musical versatility by playing acoustic guitar and organ on his debut solo album, Robin's Rain, released in 1970. The latter part of Robin Gibbs' life was marked by health challenges that impacted both his personal and professional endeavors. On August 14, 2010, while in the midst of a performance in Belgium, Gibb began experiencing severe abdominal pains, signaling the onset of a health crisis. This prompted him to seek immediate medical attention. On August 18, 2010, Robin Gibb underwent emergency surgery at an Oxford hospital, a critical intervention that proved successful in addressing the underlying health issues. Following a period of recovery marked by resilience and determination, Gibb returned to the stage to perform concerts in New Zealand and Australia. This comeback demonstrated his commitment to his craft and the enduring passion he held for sharing his music with audiences around the world. In addition to his musical pursuits, Robin Gibb was actively involved in philanthropy during this period. He dedicated time to promoting fundraising for the memorial dedicated to RAF Bomber Command in Green Park, London, showcasing his commitment to honoring and preserving the memory of historical figures and events. A notable project during this time was the collaboration between Robin Gibb and his son, Robin John. Together they composed The Titanic Requiem, a poignant musical piece recorded by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. This composition served as a tribute to the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic in 2012, showcasing Gibbs' artistic versatility and his ability to engage with historical events through his music. Despite undergoing surgery and dealing with ongoing health issues, Robin Gibb remained active in the public eye. He continued to make television appearances and participate in various events, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to his craft and his connection with audiences. However, the toll on Robin Gibb's health became increasingly evident. In April 2011, he was compelled to cancel his scheduled tour of Brazil due to health problems. This was followed by the cancellation of another concert in Paris in October 2011, underscoring the severity of his ongoing health challenges. On October 14, 2011, Robin Gibb was scheduled to perform a charity single with the soldiers, but was once again rushed to the hospital due to severe abdominal pains. Despite these setbacks, he persevered, and on October 18, 2011, following his release from the hospital, he made a public appearance on ITV's The Alan Titchmarsh Show. However, during this appearance, he appeared gaunt and frail, providing a visual testament to the toll his health battles had taken on the iconic musician. In the later stages of Robin Gibb's life, the toll of his health challenges became increasingly apparent. On October 27, 2011, he unexpectedly canceled his appearance at the Poppy Appeal concert in London mere minutes before he was scheduled to perform. This unforeseen withdrawal hinted at the severity of his health issues. In November 2011, Robin Gibb received a devastating diagnosis, colorectal cancer, which had metastasized to his liver several months earlier. This marked a critical turning point in his health battle and he faced the challenges of both colorectal cancer and liver metastasis. In March 2012, Robin Gibb underwent intestinal surgery, necessitating the cancellation of scheduled appearances as he focused on his recovery. This period of hospitalization showcased the gravity of his health struggles and the toll they were taking on the renowned musician. Tragically, the challenges persisted. In April 2012, Robin Gibb contracted pneumonia, further complicating his health condition. The situation took a critical turn as he fell into a coma. Despite the severity of the situation, he emerged from the coma later in April, displaying a remarkable resilience that characterized his enduring spirit. The journey took its final turn on May 20, 2012, when Robin Gibb passed away in a London hospital at the age of 62. While initial reports attributed his death to cancer, 
His son, Robin John Gibb, clarified that his father's cancer had gone into remission by the time of his death, and the immediate cause was kidney failure. This revelation added a nuanced understanding to the complex narrative of Robin Gibb's health struggles. Robin Gibb's funeral, a somber occasion, took place on June 8, 2012. He was laid to rest at the Church of St. Mary the Virgin, near his home in Tame, Oxfordshire. The placement of a blue plaque on the house in September of the same year served as a lasting tribute, commemorating his connection to the residents. In 2015, a poignant headstone was erected at Robin Gibbs' gravesite, engraved with lyrics from some of the Bee Gees' iconic songs, including the timeless How Deep Is Your Love? This memorialization encapsulated not only his impact as a musician, but also the enduring legacy of his contributions to the world of music. Robin Gibbs' life, marked by musical genius and perseverance in the face of health challenges, remains a poignant chapter in the history of popular music. Maurice Gibb, Maurice Ernest Gibb. CBE was a British musician who achieved global fame as an integral member of the iconic pop group, the Bee Gees. While his elder brother Barry Gibb and fraternal twin brother Robin Gibb were the primary lead singers, Maurice's contributions to the group were substantial, with his lead vocals prominently featured on several tracks across the Bee Gees' extensive discography. Notable songs showcasing Maurice's lead vocals include Lay It On Me, Country Woman, and On Time. Maurice Gibbs' journey into the world of music began at an early age. In 1955, at the tender age of six, he embarked on his musical career by joining the skiffle rock and roll group called the Rattlesnakes in Manchester, England. Over the years, this musical venture evolved into what would later become the globally acclaimed Bee Gees. After spending three years in Manchester, the Gibb family moved to Australia in 1958. It was in Australia that the Bee Gees officially took shape and honed their musical skills before eventually returning to England, where they would achieve unparalleled worldwide fame. The Bee Gees' success was monumental, establishing them as one of the most successful pop rock groups of all time. Their genre-defying music, characterized by tight harmonies, infectious melodies, and Morris's distinctive contributions, left an indelible mark on the music industry. In 2002, in recognition of their significant contribution to music, the Bee Geese, including Maurice Gipp, were appointed as commanders of the Order of the British Empire, CBE. Tragically, Morris Gibb passed away unexpectedly in 2003, but his posthumous honor was collected by his son at Buckingham Palace in 2004, underscoring the enduring impact of the Bee Gees on the cultural landscape. Maurice Gibb's musical influences were diverse, ranging from early inspirations such as the Everly Brothers, Cliff Richard, and Paul Anka, to later significant influences like the Mills Brothers and the Beatles. His eclectic taste contributed to the Bee Gees' unique sound, characterized by a fusion of various musical elements. During a temporary breakup of the Bee Gees in 1969-1970, Maurice ventured into a solo career, releasing his first solo single, Railroad. Although he took this solo path, his first solo album, titled The Loner, unfortunately never saw a formal release. Maurice Gibbs' untimely death at the age of 53 marked a somber moment in the history of music. He passed away suddenly on January 12, 2003, at Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami Beach, Florida. The cause of his death was a complication that arose during surgery for a twisted intestine, a condition that led to cardiac arrest. Tragically, Maurice Gibbs' wife and children were present at his side when he passed away, adding to the emotional weight of the moment. The private funeral that followed was an intimate gathering, attended by approximately 200 family and friends, including notable figures such as Michael Jackson and Harry Wayne Casey. The presence of these figures underscored Maurice's impact on the music industry and the profound sense of loss felt by those who knew him personally and professionally.
Among the attendees was journalist and family friend Jennifer Vallopi, who shared insights into the atmosphere of the funeral. She noted that the occasion was emotional, yet infused with humor, reflecting Maurice's life and spirit. Vallopi remarked, It was emotional. There was humor. Everybody talked about how this was a man who really celebrated life, and so this was a celebration of his life. Following the funeral service, Maurice Gibbs' body was cremated, marking the final chapter in his physical journey. Nat Kipner, who managed the Bee Gees early in their career in Australia in 1966, was among those who attended the service, representing a connection to the Bee Gees' early days and highlighting the sense of loss felt throughout the music community. The circumstances surrounding Maurice Gibbs' death prompted questions and reflections from his surviving brothers, Barry and Robin Gibb. They expressed their bewilderment at the sequence of events leading to Maurice's demise. Barry, in particular, raised concerns about the decision to operate on Maurice during the shock of cardiac arrest, stating, None of the sequences of events have yet made sense to us. The loss of Maurice Gibb in 2003 had a profound impact on his surviving brothers, Barry and Robin Gibb. Robin, in an interview with Mojo Magazine in 2003, expressed the deep emotional connection they shared. We were kids together and teenagers. We spent the whole of our lives with each other because of our music. I can't accept that he's dead. I just imagine he's alive somewhere else. This poignant reflection highlighted the lifelong bond they shared, not just as brothers, but as musical collaborators and companions. In the wake of Maurice's death, the surviving brothers Barry and Robin faced a period of profound grief. They temporarily ceased performing as a group, grappling with the void left by Maurice's absence. The loss of one of the founding members of the Bee Gees was a significant blow, both personally and professionally. Eventually, Barry and Robin made the decision to return to the stage, occasionally performing under the Bee Gees banner. This decision, born out of a desire to honor Maurice's memory and the enduring legacy of the Bee Gees, allowed the brothers to continue sharing their music with audiences around the world. Tragically, the Bee Gees faced another devastating loss in 2012, when Robin Gibb passed away at the age of 62. The cause of his death was liver and kidney failure, resulting from colorectal cancer. This marked the end of an era for the Bee Gees and left a lasting impact on the music industry. Vince Melunay Vincent Melunay, born on August 18, 1945, is an Australian musician whose notable tenure with the Bee Gees from 1967 to 1969 contributed to the group's initial period of worldwide success. Before joining the Bee Gees in March 1967, Vincent Maluni had already established himself in the Australian music scene with several notable ventures. In 1963, he founded the Vibratones, showcasing his early foray into the world of music. Subsequent to this, Meluni continued to explore and expand his musical horizons by founding the Aztecs in 1964, a band that would later include legendary musician Billy Thorpe. The following year, in 1965, he formed Vince and Tony's Two, another musical endeavor that added to his diverse portfolio. In 1966, Melune further demonstrated his versatility by founding the Vince Maloney sect, highlighting his commitment to exploring different genres and musical styles. This period of prolific activity showcased his ability to navigate the dynamic Australian music scene of the 1960s. Upon joining the Big East in 1967, Melone played a pivotal role in the group's sound during a crucial phase of their career. His time with the Bee Gees coincided with their initial period of worldwide success, marking a significant chapter in the band's evolution. After parting ways with the Bee Gees in 1969, Maloney continued his musical journey by assembling the Australian supergroup Fanny Adams in 1970. This endeavor reflected his ongoing commitment to collaboration and innovation within the music industry. Throughout his career, Vincent Melunay had brief stints with various musical groups, 
showcasing his adaptability and willingness to explore different musical landscapes. Notable among these collaborations were his contributions to Tony Worsley and the Blue Jays in 1965, Ashton Gardner and Dyke in 1969, and the Cleves in 1971. These diverse collaborations underscored Maloney's reputation as a versatile and respected musician in the Australian music scene. Colin Patterson Frederick Colin Patterson is a versatile Australian artist with a career spanning drumming, record production, and even child acting. His notable contributions include being a member of several musical groups, including Steve and the Board, the Bee Gees, and Humpy Bong. Peterson's musical journey began as the drummer for the Australian band Steve and the Board. However, it was his involvement with the Bee Gees that brought him into the international spotlight. Joining the Bee Gees, Peterson played a significant role in shaping the band's sound during a crucial period of their career. In August 1969, Peterson made the decision to part ways with the Bee Gees, marking a transition in his musical endeavors. He was replaced by Terry Cox, the drummer from Pentangle, for the recording of the songs that would make up the Bee Gees' 1970 album, Cucumber Castle. Despite his departure, Peterson's drumming contributions can be heard on some of the tracks from this album. A unique aspect of Peterson's association with the Bee Gees during this period is his involvement in the film Cucumber Castle, for which the band created a soundtrack. Peterson had scenes filmed for the movie, but unfortunately, his parts were ultimately cut from the final edit. Consequently, he is not credited on the accompanying album soundtrack, despite his participation in recording some of the songs. Colin Peterson's diverse talents extend beyond his drumming career. His foray into record production and his early experiences as a child actor show Casey the breadth of his artistic pursuits. Throughout his career, Peterson's contributions have left an indelible mark on the Australian and international music scenes, making him a notable figure in the world of entertainment. Barry Gibb, Sir Barry Allen Crompton. Gibb is a distinguished British musician, singer, songwriter, and record producer whose illustrious career has spanned over six decades. His immense contributions to the world of music have left an indelible mark, and he is widely recognized for his exceptional talent and the significant role he played as a member of the iconic Bee Gees. Barry Gibb achieved worldwide fame as part of the Bee Gees, a musical trio that included his younger brothers, Robin and Maurice Gibb. Together, they became one of the most commercially successful groups in the history of popular music. The Bee Gees' influence on the music industry is undeniable, and their unique sound, characterized by tight harmonies and infectious melodies, has left an enduring legacy. Gibbs' vocal abilities are a standout feature of his career, with a wide vocal range and a distinctive high-pitched falsetto that set him apart in the realm of popular music. His vocal prowess became a signature element of the Bee Gees' sound and contributed significantly to their success. In addition to his role as a performer, Barry Gibb is celebrated for his songwriting prowess. He holds the record for the most consecutive Billboard Hot 100 number ones, a distinction he shares with legendary Beatles John Lennon and Paul McCartney, with each artist achieving six consecutive chart-topping hits. Gibb's impressive songwriting catalog extends further, encompassing a total of 16 Billboard Hot 100 number ones, solidifying his place as one of the most accomplished and influential songwriters in the history of popular music. Barry Gibbs' illustrious career has been further distinguished by numerous accolades and honors that reflect his significant impact on the music industry. In 1994, he achieved a notable milestone when he, along with his brothers, was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Recognizing the exceptional songwriting prowess that characterized the Bee Gees' catalog. This honor underscored their contribution to the art of crafting timeless and influential musical compositions. Three years later, in 1997, Barry Gibb received one of the highest honors in the music world when the Bee Gees were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 
this prestigious recognition solidified their legacy as trailblazers in the realm of popular music and acknowledged their enduring influence on subsequent generations of musicians. In 2007, Q Magazine, a respected music publication, further acknowledged Barry Gibbs' individual brilliance by ranking him at number 38 on its list of the 100 Greatest Singers. This ranking highlighted not only his exceptional vocal abilities, but also his enduring impact as a solo artist and collaborator. Guinness World Records has also recognized Barry Gibbs' monumental achievements in the field of songwriting. He holds the distinction of being listed as the second most successful songwriter in history, a position second only to the legendary Paul McCartney. This recognition serves as a testament to Gibbs' enduring ability to craft chart-topping hits and contribute significantly to the musical landscape. Beyond his artistic achievements, Barry Gibb has been honored for his outstanding contributions to music and entertainment by the British monarchy. In the 2002 New Year Honors, he was appointed a commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE, a title bestowed in acknowledgement of his services to music and entertainment. The honor recognized not only his artistic achievements, but also his impact on the cultural landscape. The accolades continued to pour in, with Barry Gibb receiving a knighthood in the 2018 New Year Honors for his services to music and charity. This prestigious title highlighted not only his artistic contributions, but also his philanthropic endeavors, emphasizing the broader positive impact he has had on society. In a global recognition of his influence, Barry Gibb was made an Honorary Companion of the Order of Australia on January 27, 2022. This title, bestowed by the Australian government, further underscores his international impact and his contribution to the cultural fabric of Australia. What do you think about the deaths of the Bee Gees members? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.